Um, I have to admit I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly because I tend to ramble on a little bit and I'm not sure what's going to come out of my mouth the more I get nervous. Um, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone's seen this going around Facebook, but pick the field you love, study hard, and you'll never work a day in your life because no one is hiring. <laughs> yeah, that resonates deep, deep within me. That... So in 2012, I graduated from Cardiff University, uh, Cardiff Metropolitan, with a degree in events management. I'd been putting on shows, local gigs, uh, in the Valley since I was about 18, and I found the degree of my dreams. I thought, I finally get it. I'm going to turn my passion into my reality, and I'm going to get this. Do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life, because nobody wants to go to work. But what I didn't realize until I graduated, at the end of that sentence, you'll never work a day in your life because no one is hiring. I naively thought that I would walk out of university and straight into a music promoter position. I was going to apply to every events company. I was also going to do some of these roles. Turns out you can't apply for them. Well, you can, and you may have seen some posts on Facebook. You may even know people that do jobs like this. But there is one very, very important bit of information missing when you're going for jobs like this in the music industry, and that's you're going to be working for yourself. It's self-employment. No matter what way we put it, you're in charge. You're the boss. Now, we can find gigs. We can create opportunities. But you're working for yourself. No one's hiring, which is disappointing. Um, so, this leads me on. My 13-year-old niece came to me and said, what do I do? I'm picking my GCSE subjects, and I don't know what to do. So I said, OK, what is it that you enjoy doing? And she said, well, I like art because my dad's an artist. I kind of like history, I have to do Welsh back. Kind of like product design maybe, but I definitely, definitely want to do photography. But my mum says, oh, think about it. What job are you gonna go with that? And her mum is probably a little bit right, but also a little bit wrong. Um, my response to Tash was, you should absolutely 100% do photography. You should. If that's what you're passionate about, do it. But you have to realize something, and you have to realize that now, is that when, you, when it comes to applying for a job, when it comes to starting work, there's not really anyone that's going to be, hey, I've got this photography position available. Does anybody want to apply? You're going to have to realize now, and it's a very harsh lesson at 13, perhaps, you're going to have to work for yourself. And are you going to be OK with that? So I don't think she quite understands maybe what her decisions will lead to. But she has decided to do photography, and she is passionate about it. But it was also really important that she understood that she was going to need some additional skills. I'm currently the enterprise officer at Cardiff Vale College. And one of the most important parts of my role is to raise aspirations of young people to start a business. Typically, I have to do a lot of class visits, and I say, hey, who wants to start a business? And especially in creative industries, they go, hmm, nah, that's not for me. There's the idea that they'll have to wear a suit every day, and that doesn't really fit in. But if I change it, and I say, do you want to be a social media blogger? Did you say you want to be a performer? Are you in a band? Are you an artist? Suddenly, they start to think, OK, yeah, that is what I want to do. I can do that. And that's the bit where I can explain to them, well, as it turns out, that's self-employment. <laughs> Which is exactly where I take students. Uh, we do one-to-one -one mentoring. We do skill development. But it's basically my job to say, let's make this happen. You can be successful in the creative industries. It's not this one in a million chance that you're going to make it. There are a lot of things to learn. There's a lot of skills to develop. But you absolutely can be successful in creative industries. You just have to find the right balance of passion and skill development. And I suppose that's where I'm lucky, and I get to help students do that. But more importantly, what I wanted to take from this, 
um, or rather the message that I wanted to get across, was next time one of my learners or perhaps someone that you know is thinking about their GCSEs and you say, mm, what are you going to do with that? Well, they can turn around and they can say, I'm going to work for myself.